Welcome in, Blake Fontana here. Hope your day is treating you well. Up ahead in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how my tiny following on YouTube has turned into a six-figure asset that's generated tens of thousands in sales since starting it just a few years ago. So up ahead in this video, I wanna share with you how I'm currently using YouTube in my online coaching business right now. You guys hear me talk a lot about leveraging Facebook, how we use Facebook, and how Facebook has kind of been the core channel that we've used to produce three consecutive multi six figure years and now cross seven figures. But one thing I haven't talked on too much is how we use YouTube within that process and how YouTube for us has become a six figure asset since starting the channel just two years ago. More importantly, how we've turned this YouTube channel into a six figure asset with literally having less than 3000 subscribers. As we stand right now, literally as I record this video, pulling up my subscribers, we currently have 2,840 subscribers. So we're just shy of hitting 3000. Again, for those of you who are checking out this video now, if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button before you go on today's video to help us cross those 3000 subscribers. But the point is you don't need to have a massive following and a massive subscriber list to generate massive profits from your YouTube channel. And that's what I wanna share with you here today. So before we get into how I'm currently using YouTube right now and how I've turned this channel into a six figure asset, let's first talk about what I'm not currently doing with this YouTube channel now and what many folks out there are advocating that you should do with your YouTube channel. And what I mean by this is if you go on YouTube right now and search how to make money on YouTube, most of the videos that you're going to see pop up is how to grow your channel from zero to your first 10,000 subscribers in 72 hours. If that's you, you're gonna find a lot of value in this video because we're gonna talk about how I'm currently monetizing my YouTube channel and the way that I use it within my current strategy and process to turn it into a six figure asset. To me, when I look at the social media platforms out there today, and I look at platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Reels. When I look at those platforms, to me, those are the platforms that you have a better chance of going viral on because your content is more likely to be shown in the newsfeed, once engaged with, shared. It's very fast moving, very fast paced. Whereas on the YouTube world, it's a little bit more of a search engine. Now, although you can still go viral on YouTube and many folks do it, I don't believe it's in your best interest to have the focus when creating YouTube content that my goal is to go viral. And to be honest with you, when it comes to any platform that I'm using right now, my goal is never to go viral. If it happens, awesome. But my mission when creating content is not to create viral content. Because when we start focusing on creating viral content, this is where our content starts getting broader. This is where our content starts speaking less to our ideal audience. And this is where we start resonating with our audience much less and in turn trying to serve and reach and resonate with a larger range of people. Which leads me to the number one way that we use YouTube in my business right now to turn it into the six figure asset that it is. And that primarily is built around leveraging it by putting out strategic content that speaks to our target audience, not in a broad way, but in a specific way, and using this content as a bridge to nurture and deepen trust with leads. In my journey, I first saw the power of this when it comes to leveraging video content to nurture and deepen trust their leads through live video. I used live video throughout my first year in my online business when I went from zero to my first six figure year, I went live every single week. And it was after that point where I started to see how when folks join me in a room and hang out with me, on video, they get to watch me, hear me, interact with me, and engage with me. To me, it's a connection that can't really be duplicated through written copy or written content. Because it's one thing for a person to read a post from you that you've written and typed up, and they're reading it behind the scenes, knowing that you wrote that behind the scenes and shared it. Maybe you use ChatGPT, maybe you used your own voice, they don't know, but the point is they don't have that direct connection to you when they're reading it. When they're seeing you talk on video, and they're hearing you, and they're engaging with you on video, it's a completely different effect. It creates a connection and a bond to you in ways that weren't able to be created prior to using video content. And I can't tell you how many times publishing videos on this YouTube channel here that I've had folks watch a video of mine, either watching it off an email that I shared, off a post in my group, and they reach out to me sharing with me how much value they got from it and how they wanna either learn more from me, work with me, or better yet, they go and watch three more videos, build even deeper trust with me, and now they're completely sold and they wanna work with me and they're ready to go. And that's the power of it. To me, the more that viewers are consuming on my channel, going from one video to the next, the more that I'm able to build a deeper connection, deeper trust with them. The more they're able to see who I am as a business owner, as a marketer, and as a coach. And they're also able to get a glimpse into the strategies that I teach. If they align with that, and they align with the way that I talk on video and the person that I am, that trust as it builds up is only going to lead to them wanting to work with me more and in turn leading them to sign up to work with me. So the primary way I'm leveraging YouTube and the content that I produce here in my business right now that's allowed me to turn it into a six-figure asset is by using it out of the lens of this is a piece that's going to nurture it and build deeper trust with my leads. This in turn is allowing me to stay more focused on the type of content that I'm producing, making it more specific to those people, and 
inserting it in my strategy in a way where it's not focused on always bringing in new people and going viral, but instead putting this content in front of the current people in my audience that maybe are just getting to know me or follow me for a couple of months that I can now put this video in front of them to provide them value and to deepen the trust in our relationship. And once that trust is there and they resonate with me, the strategies I teach and the way that I do things, as a result, this is what creates the profit and the opportunities that come along with it. Now, aside from nurturing leads and building deeper trust with my audience and creating opportunities from that, the other way that YouTube has become a six-figure asset in our business is by also acquiring new leads and new opportunities, bringing new people into the audience. Now, this isn't the primary way that we're using YouTube now, and this isn't the focus on my end when creating content, but this is the benefit that YouTube brings to creators, is the fact that it's a search engine. If you go on Facebook, if you go on LinkedIn, and you're learning how to start a Facebook group or how to do this, how to do that, and you search it there, you're not gonna see relevant content pop up right away. But if you come to YouTube, you have a whole library of videos pulled up exactly around what you search for. And for me, now that I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel since starting it a few years ago, and for me, now that I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel, there's opportunities for when folks are searching certain keywords, if I'm ranking on those videos, they're able to find me and come across me for the first time. And just recently, we had a client sign up just because of that. In fact, they shared a story with me where they were looking for a video, they came across a video of mine, they watched it, they enjoyed it, and that led them to watching five more videos from me which led to them watching a sixth video after that. That was something that they literally just spent $3,000 for in a course a few months ago for the content I shared in that sixth video. And when they watched that sixth video, it completely blew their mind. The fact that they just invested three grand to get that answer that I shared for free on YouTube, it built another level of trust and it led to that person finding me on Facebook, reaching out to me, being blown away at the content they just saw from me and wanting to work with me just like that. And a few days after that point, that led to a five-figure client signing up and joining me in our offer. And a few days after that, it led to that client investing five figures and joining me inside my coaching program. So although the objective isn't to attract new people and to have YouTube be a massive traffic source right now at the stage that I'm in with the tiny channel that I have, it doesn't mean that you don't still experience those benefits when creating consistent and strategic content along the way. As you're building up your library of videos and the assets that you've created, the nice thing about YouTube is those assets float around and stay on the platform forever and ever and ever. So the more that they stay around, the more views they're going to get. And that can in turn lead new people searching for those keywords, coming across your videos, watching one video, then watching two, three, four, five videos. And in turn, you're able to build trust that would typically take you two to three months to build in a matter of two to three hours. Way number three that YouTube has gone on to become a six figure asset in my business is by leveraging the links in the bio and the monetization on YouTube. Now to point this out, the reason I have this third on the list is because this has the third least impact on the profit that we're generating. The order that I put these in in today's video is to me the order of importance that I look at when it comes to this YouTube channel. And as mentioned early on in the video, my goal is to not get hundreds of thousands of views to create the content that goes viral. So if that's not my mission, I'm not expecting to get a bunch of kickback from YouTube monetization right now. In fact, as we stand right now with my channel being at just under 3K subscribers, we make just about 100 to 150 to 200 dollars a month from ad placement on our organic videos. But on the other side of that is also being able to place and plug links in the bio for the products that you may be mentioning in your video content. So although some of my content is specific to providing value, shifting beliefs, some of my content as well is specific to either announcing a new product released, announcing a new opportunity that I just opened up, or me providing value and then inviting folks that watch to the end to join me in one of my paid products in the link in the description. In addition to that, like in this video here, I encourage folks that aren't a member of my Facebook group to click the link in the bio and join my Facebook community to get even more insider content from me, to get deeper value from me, and in turn, allow me to build deeper trust with you. In closing here on this video, these are three ways that I'm using YouTube in my business right now that has in turn allowed my YouTube channel to become a six-figure asset for my coaching business. With everything that we talked on here today, notice how a lot of it was really around how I'm using these videos and these assets to allow my audience to get to know me in a deeper way, to deepen that relationship, to deepen that trust, which in turn leads to opportunities on the back end of that. None of this would be possible if I didn't have an ecosystem of offers in place behind the scenes. And I think a lot of folks, when it comes to creating on YouTube, they don't have an offer, they don't have something that they're focused on selling or monetizing, and in turn, they're focused on trying to monetize on the platform, grow based off views, going viral, and getting paid from YouTube. But if you can come into creating your YouTube channel and you already have a set of digital products or services established, this is where you can think about leveraging YouTube in a little bit of a different way. Think about how you can use your YouTube, your subscriber base, and your audience to share these assets, to deepen trust, to deepen that relationship, 
and create opportunities for the products that you already have. And that is the exact reason I've been able to turn such a tiny following on my YouTube channel into a six figure asset because I focused on taking the YouTube platform itself and combining it with my current strategy. Rather than looking at YouTube as a separate entity to make money, I'm using it to fuel what I'm currently doing, the system that I currently have that's working, and the offers that I currently have that are converting. As time passes, as I continue to put out more content on YouTube, as my videos get more views, and as my channel grows, I know the secondary benefit will come to life later in time where I'm gonna be making thousands off of YouTube monetization and experience the benefit of that. But for now, in the short term, this is how I'm using my tiny channel to generate massive profits on YouTube. And with this tiny channel approaching 3,000 subscribers very soon, if you enjoyed this video, you watched it through the end and you found value in what we talked on here today, it would mean the world to me if you smash that thumbs up button below and you hit that subscribe button before you head out to help us hit our next milestone. Thanks again for watching. I look forward to seeing you back on the next video very soon.